This is pretty wild. OpenAI just admitted they're lying to us. There's a big gap between what the consumer gets and what the lab has. Mm. We actually saw a few OpenAI people say that. And the evidence is hiding in plain sight. While everyone celebrates GPT-5, industry insiders discovered OpenAI has superior models they refuse to release. And the reason why will shock you. We had Horizon and Zenith as the two models on this LM arena. This isn't speculation. OpenAI engineers confirmed it themselves on social media. They chose to release Horizon, but Zenith was better. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's the bombshell nobody saw coming. The GPT-5 model that just broke every benchmark isn't even OpenAI's best. They have something called Zenith sitting in their labs that makes GPT-5 look like a toy. Let me break down the evidence. During OpenAI's announcement, their engineers accidentally revealed they had two internal models, Verizon and Zenith. They released Verizon as GPT-5, but kept Zenith locked away. Why would they deliberately hold back their most powerful AI? The answer is terrifying and brilliant at the same time. Here's OpenAI's secret strategy. They're playing a three-dimensional chess game while everyone else is playing checkers. While Google, Anthropic, and others race to release their best models publicly, OpenAI is using their superior internal models to stay ahead in the arms race, but only showing the world their second best. Think about it. If you had an AI that could potentially achieve super intelligence, would you give it to 700 million people for free? Or would you keep it internal, use it to improve your next generation of models, and only release what's safe enough for public consumption? The smoking gun came from OpenAI's own team. On social media, their engineers confirmed they had better models internally even before the next cluster build out. Translation, Zenith isn't just better than GPT-5, it's probably better than anything their competitors are even working on. But here's why this strategy is genius and dangerous. While everyone benchmarks against GPT-5, OpenAI is internally using Zenith to design GPT-6, GPT-7, maybe even GPT-10. They're not just one generation ahead, they could be five generations ahead and nobody would know. This explains the bizarre presentation the lackluster demos, the underwhelming reveals, the betting markets collapsing during their own launch. It all makes sense if OpenAI was deliberately downplaying their capabilities. They showed coding demos that Anthropic had been doing for months. They focused on consumer features instead of breakthrough capabilities. They made it look almost ordinary, uh, but that was the point. Here's what the evidence suggests Zenith can do. Remember how GPT-5 can solve math problems that take professional mathematicians weeks? Zenith probably solves them in minutes. GPT-5 outperforms doctors on medical diagnosis by 40%. Zenith might be approaching superhuman medical reasoning across every specialty. The real tell was in the economics. OpenAI slashed prices by 60x from $75 per million tokens to $1.25. That's not just competition, that's a company using superior internal models to optimize their publicly released versions to an unprecedented degree. But here's the scary part. If OpenAI is using Zenith internally to train their next models, they're potentially accelerating toward AGI faster than anyone realizes. While Google and Anthropic benchmark against GPT-5, OpenAI could already be working with capabilities that approach artificial general intelligence. This creates a dangerous scenario. 
What happens when one company has super intelligent AI while everyone else is still playing catch up? What happens when that gap becomes unbridgeable? Sam Altman recently said that if OpenAI continues on their current trajectory, they could hit $100 to $150 billion in revenue within two years. But that projection only makes sense if they have capabilities far beyond what they've shown publicly. You don't go from $10 billion to $150 billion with incremental improvements. Industry insiders are starting to connect the dots. When Ilya Sutskever left OpenAI to start his own super intelligence company, he wasn't just chasing a vision. He might have seen Zenith's capabilities firsthand and realized we're closer to AGI than anyone imagines. Here's what this means for you. While everyone debates GPT-5's capabilities, OpenAI could already be testing human-level artificial general intelligence internally. The company that reaches AGI first doesn't just win the AI race, they potentially control the future of human civilization. And if OpenAI is already there or close to it with their internal models, then everything changes much faster than predicted. The signs are everywhere. They're paying employees $1.5 million bonuses to prevent poaching. They're valued at half a trillion dollars despite making $10 billion in revenue. They're building data centers with half a gigawatt of power capacity. These aren't the moves of a company planning incremental progress. The scariest part? If this theory is correct, we won't know how far ahead OpenAI really is until it's too late for anyone to catch up. The AI arms race isn't just heating up. It might already be over and we just don't know it yet. While we're analyzing GPT-5, OpenAI could be preparing to announce artificial general intelligence. The question isn't whether OpenAI has superhuman AI. The question is, what are they planning to do with it? And how much time do the rest of us have to prepare for a world where one company controls intelligence itself? Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories, we're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for. I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs. Hit subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the real AI developments happening behind closed doors. Because what they're not telling us might be more important than what they are.